Hello everyone. So, two months ago, I released the Iron Lung Iceberg video, and yeah, that did really well. But amidst the very many Barbie comments, there was this especially intriguing one. I think a fan game set in a tiny bathosphere would be awesome, considering that it's basically claustrophobia to the max. Now, at this point, I've never heard of a bathosphere, but it sounded interesting, so I looked it up, and it was immediately traveling down a rabbit hole of claustrophobic submarines, an ambitious man named Beeb, and sea monsters that were seen only once and never again. The short gist of it is that there's this man named William Beeb, who back in the 1930s invented the one-man spherical submarine designed to withstand intense depths, did a series of dives on it, and recorded sightings of previously undiscovered fish right in the Bermuda Ocean. Sounds cool, yeah? Well, I thought so too, and decided I could make a game out of this. My main goal is to try to emulate the gripping atmosphere and lore that Ireland offered, because that's what I most enjoyed about that game. Thing is, I didn't look any of this up the first time around, and I just looked at the design and thought, huh, cool, then started modeling it in Blender. Usually when I make a game, I start with an idea, then prototyping, then art, but this time I just wanted to immediately start bringing this thing to life. I'm by no means a professional 3D artist, and I had to learn so many things while I was making it, but this is what the final model turned out like. The textures are wonky, and the design itself is very bare bones and subject to change, but I like it enough as it is. Now, when you make a game, you have two options. Either use an engine that already exists, or make one yourself. I of course went with the former, and at first I was using Unity, but after, <clears throat> reasons, I switched to Godot. And this is how the Bathysphere model looked in-game for the first time. After I was satisfied with how it looked, I went to that wiki page again and found this drawing of a black and white fish that Beeb allegedly saw while on a dive. Problem is, people after him dived into the same area he explored again, when technology was more advanced, and they couldn't find a trace of it, so the general consensus is that he confused some other phenomena with a fish pattern and hastily noted it down in excitement. I choose not to believe this, purely for the sake of the mystery. So anyways, I quickly ripped the texture, put it on a model, and started spawning it in-game both to test the engine and how the fish models might look. So in this moment, I decided that continuing with any more work is just meaningless, and I need to actually jot down a plan for how the game will actually work. The main idea that I'm deciding to go with, although that might change in the future, is that you play as an explorer slash worker at some marine department, and you've been tasked to investigate the sightings that Beeb had years later. You make a series of dives in the ocean, and have to record any unusual happenings while making sure not to implode, because the bathysphere is so old. There will be mystery, creepy eldritch beings, and a story and lore to tie everything together. Well, that's the plan anyways. Right now though, I decided to start working on the docking room where you'll start the game. And here's how it looked like after some hasty modeling. Nothing fancy, but after applying the textures, it comes alive. Here's where you'll come back after every dive and check your findings, as well as some other activities that have yet to reveal. After some basic development that definitely didn't take hours of my life and slowly drive me insane, I had an audio system, scene loading system, ship bobbing, and basic UI working. Problem is, I only had a single weird basement room and no ship to exit to, so off I went to Blender again to model. A couple of hours later, I had this. Then I plopped it into the game. Hmm, something feels off. Oh yes, water. Here I tried to make my own water shader, but after I realized that's better said than done, I downloaded one off the asset store that someone made with more experience than me, and after a bit of tweaking, it looked like this. Now I just add some ocean waves ambiance, and it makes for a pretty relaxing experience. For now. Now, a set piece was done, but it doesn't have any real gameplay, and while I would love to show some here, the most I've done is make a terminal, plop it down near the dock, and have it raise the bathysphere up to you. You can then lower it from the inside. The reason why the progress is so minimal is because I had to learn the Godot engine from the ground up, so most of the time spent was learning its quirks and intricacies. I think I found the most bugs ever while developing, it's, it's insane. So right now I only have a simple demo, but next video hopefully I'll show the first semblance of the dives, and the main sea creatures that'll roam the ocean depths. Here's a rough sketch that I drew just to get a feel for how it might look. Listen, I, I know it's horrendous, I drew it in like 10 minutes, but cut me some slack. I have a work in progress design doc that I'll keep adding to as I go along. So if you're interested in this project, or have enjoyed the Ironlink experience and want something that tries to emulate what it did best, subscribe and like for future videos. Anyways, that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and bye bye